to H. C., six years old, by William Wordsworth. This is recorded to celebrate the sixth anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. O thou, whose fancies from afar are brought, who of thy words dost make a mock apparel, and fittest to unutterable thought the breeze-like motion and the self-born carol, thou fairy voyager, that dost float in such clear water, that thy boat may rather seem to brood on air than on earthly stream, suspended in a stream as clear as sky, where earth and heaven do make one imagery. O blessed vision, happy child, thou art so exquisitely wild, I think of thee with many fears for what may be thy lot in future years. I thought of times when pain might be thy guest, lord of thy house and hospitality, and grief, uneasy lover, never rest but when she sate within the touch of thee. O oh, too industrious folly! O oh, vain and causeless melancholy! Nature will either end thee quite or lengthening out thy seasons of delight, preserve for thee, by individual right, a young lamb's heart among the full-grown flocks. What hast thou to do with sorrow, or the injuries of to-morrow? Thou art a dew-drop, which the morn brings forth, ill-fitted to sustain unkindly shocks, or to be trailed along the soiling earth, a gem that glitters while it lives and no forewarning gives but at the touch of wrong, without a strife, slips in a moment out of life. End of To H. C. Six Years Old by William Wordsworth Read by Rhonda Fetterman